Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 16 and how to update from iOS 16 beta to the official release of iOS 16. I know a lot of users have updated to the beta version or the public beta version of iOS 16. Of course, we want to try the new features before they come out. So everyone is tempted to update to the beta. But how do you update to the official version, which will be released on September 12th? That's 99% sure as of now, we know that the new iPhone event will be on September 7th. And then of course, the release of the new iPhone, the shipment will be on September 16th, which means that that Monday before the shipment of the new iPhone, the iOS 16 will be released to the public and that will be September 12th. So before that date, of course, you need to know how to update from iOS 16 beta to iOS 16 public release. Let me show you guys how to do that very easily. Now, step number one to update from iOS 16 beta to the public release of iOS 16 is to subscribe to this channel. That is of course not required, but it's really, really appreciated if you could do that as many of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. And now let's get to the real things that you need to know regarding this update. Now, first of all, you need to know on which current software you're on right now. So if you're on the latest iOS 16 beta, that means that you're on this right here. So if we go here, you can see it's 20A. 5356A. This is the latest iOS 16 beta. It ends with an A, which means that it's the last beta before the RC version gets released. And the RC version will be released on September 7th after the iPhone event. Now, if you don't know, the RC version is basically the same as the public release, but it gets released to the devs like a week before it gets released to the public. So that's the exact same software. So currently, if you're on this beta right here, which is the latest iOS 16 beta, and you just want to wait for the public release of iOS 16 and update directly to that without updating to the RC version, all you have to do right now is just head on to settings and go to the general settings. And from here, go to VPN and device management. Now, what you will find right here is the profile that you have installed in order to update to the iOS 16 beta. Go here and remove the profile. You tap right there, enter the passcode of your device and reboot your device and you're good to go. You have now removed the beta profile from your device and all it's left to do now is wait for the public release of iOS 16 and update to that. Now, if you don't do this and you wait for the RC version, which as I said, will be released on September 7th, then if you update to, to the RC version, you will basically have the exact same update as the public release of iOS 16, which will be released on September 12th. Now you can know that of course, simply by checking the build number, they will have the exact build number. So you go right here to the iOS version and you will see that it will have the same exact build number when the public release of iOS 16 gets out as the same, it will be the same as the RC version. So if you're on this beta, on beta seven, which will most likely be the latest, the last beta actually of iOS 16, and it ends with an A, you can still remove the profile and wait for the public release and then update directly to that. If you don't do that and update to the RC version, then you already have iOS 16 public on your device, so you don't actually need to update and you won't actually get an update on your device for iOS 16, because as I said over and over again, it is the exact same update. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is how easy it is to update your device from iOS 16 beta to the public release of iOS 16. Now this will work whether you have the dev beta or you have the public beta. As long as you don't have the RC version installed on your device, just make sure you remove the profile and wait for the public release. If you keep the profile and install the RC version, then you're good to go as well. You have already the same exact version as the public release and you don't need to do anything more. So that's it. Make sure to subscribe for more iOS 16 videos. Make sure to leave a like on this one as it helps out a lot. I'll see you on the next video.